Service, service, service. Today we're talking about having service, being in service to your teammates, being in service to your school, being in service to your family, being in service to your community. I'll never forget one of my friends. I could not have stayed on the basketball team. I could not have had the success I had in basketball without one of my teammates. My friend Caleb, every single day after basketball practice, we just had a long practice. We just, we just ran drills. We just worked out real hard. We just finished getting ready. And then my friend would still give me a ride. 25, 30 minutes out of his way just so that way I could stay on the team. I couldn't have stayed on the team without my friend giving me the ride. I couldn't have made any game winning shots without my friend keeping me on the team. I could not have been that person taking the charge. I couldn't have been that person getting the rebound. I could not have been that person scoring the points if it wasn't for my teammate who stepped in and helped me to have success. All because he was giving me a ride. If it wasn't for his ride, there'd be no rebound. If it wasn't for his ride, there'd be no points for if he wasn't for those rides there would be no charges taken if it wasn't for those rides I could not have been the captain of the team but my friend he sacrificed me he was in service to me he gave me that ride every day which meant I could then have service to the team if it wasn't for him doing that for me I couldn't continue on if it wasn't for him doing that for me I couldn't keep on going if it wasn't for him doing that for me it would have been all over for me no cutting down the nets no championship trophy no all state no off conference, no all valley. None of those things would have happened because I couldn't have been on the team. Except that Caleb gave me a ride every single day. Except that Jeremiah, my other teammate, his dad would give me a ride in the morning for the morning practice. His dad would get up early. His dad wasn't a morning person, but he was in service to me. My friend Jeremiah was on JV. He was even on varsity with me. And my friend's dad gave me the ride and he helped me to get to the game. He helped me to get to practice. He helped me to get to the extra training. My friend's dad was in service to me and helped us to win the championship. He was in service to me and helped me to get that trip. He was in service to me and so that way I could have my individual success. If he was not serving me, I could not be on that team. So I want you to be, I want you to be that teammate who serves you. I want you to be that teammate who gives friends a ride. I want you to be that teammate who gives a helping hand. I want you to be that teammate who goes and gets the water. One of my favorite players, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, I'm wearing this shirt right now. Emmett Smith, when he was giving his Hall of Fame speech in front of all the other Hall of Fame players, the greatest players in the NFL, Emmett Smith still has the record to this day for the most yards. And when he stood on the platform, when he stood on the stage, he said, I could never have done it without my friend, without my teammate. He talked about his fullback, the one who was leading the path, who was making the way, the one who was taking the hits, who was in service to him. He said, all those yards that I got, were a result of his service. All the touchdowns that I scored were a result of his service. All of the success was a result of his service. All of the touchdowns, the championships, and all the goals happening were a result of his service. He said, Daryl Johnson, I'm thankful for you. You took so many hits. You sacrificed so much. You did it for me. You were in service to me, but you were in service to the team. And without that, there'd be no Super Bowls for the Dallas Cowboys. There'd be no championships. There'd be no playoffs. All of those things, the results, Emmett Smith's success all happened because of his teammates being in service to him. So what I want you to do is I want you to be that teammate. I want you to be the one to make the sacrifice. I want you to be the one who goes above and beyond. I want you to be the one that steps in and says, I got this. I'm going to help you out. Be in service to your teammates. Be in service to others. Be in service to your family. At any moment, you could be the one to go and make service. So that way when your mom someday is saying thank you, she would say thank you to you. When your teammates would say thank you, they'd say thank you to you. When the community would say thank you, they'd say thank you to you. I want you to be a Hall of Famer, but a Hall of Famer in service, a Hall of Famer in helping out, a Hall of Famer in doing for others. If you become that, you can become a champion. And don't forget, it's game time.